Hey there, Jim Jim. Hey, uh, mister. Where are you off to in such a rush? Well, golly, I'm off to school. I'm learning how to be a computer programmer. Programmer? But don't you want to be an astronaut or a doctor or a world-famous rodeo clown? Ah, oh, shucks, no, mister. I want to make the fat stacks like LeBron made in college. Well, good on you, Jimothy. Programming, or development as they call it in the streets, is certainly a lucrative and rewarding career, full of adventure, excitement, and the freedom to do what you want, when you want. Why, unlike boring jobs in advertising or panda breeding, you'll probably never be pulled into a boring meeting. Gee, mister, that sounds swell. You bet your sit meat it does, bucko. But there are a few things you need to know. Like what? Have you ever heard of quality engineering? Is that like when you find a flag in the Boy Scouts? Oh, Joe Jam, you simple idiot. That's orienteering. Quality engineering is the process through which you ensure an application is ready to ship to customers. So that's something you do when you're done developing right before the code goes out? Jeez, is that what they're teaching you kids in school these days? No wonder we're 52nd in the world in STEM rankings. No, Susan, it's something that should be a part of your code from the very beginning, even before you start writing it. But it's someone else's responsibility, right? Not likely. Think about your room at home. It sure is a mess, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah. Now say you have guests coming over and you need to tidy things up. How would you feel if your mom paid little Tommy Nelson from down the street to come over and clean it? Well, I guess that would be okay. But he's not going to know where anything goes. He'll probably put things in the wrong place or screw up my comic collection. I finally got that in just the right order. That's right. And let's not forget he's a dirty thief like his father before him. Nobody knows your room like you do, and nobody knows your code like you do. They're both dark, creepy places where you hide your secrets and your shame, so they really should be your responsibility. Gosh, mister, I never thought of it that way. No, no you didn't. But I write unit tests. That's enough, right? Ow! That's the kind of talk that puts your father into the ground, Abner, and I won't stand for it. Unit tests are part of a well-tested product, sure, but you need more than that. Say, how would you like a shiny new bicycle? Boy, would I! Wow! Why don't you hop on and take it for a spin? Yeah, uh, but it doesn't have a seat. And you don't have integration tests. Hop on. But I don't want it to go up my Hop butt. on. But, no, I... This is... Like a bike, an application has a lot of moving parts, and each of those parts should be inspected for quality. A unit test does a very good job of that. But while a unit test may tell you whether or not your seat was correctly manufactured, it doesn't tell you if it was actually installed when the bike was put together. For that, you need an integration test. Okay, I get it, mister. You need to have unit tests and integration tests. Then I'm assured to have a quality product. If only it were that easy. <sighs> now what? Quality goes beyond making sure your application works as designed. You have to take into account all manner of variables. Say, how about a different bike? No way, mister. I'm not falling for that again. Well, how about this fancy scooter? What? Wow! Thanks, mister! Where are the brakes? Where are the brakes? Oh, you can't find them? <laughs> Discoverability is also a part of quality. I sure bet you wish someone had tested that right about now. Come on, mister. Help me. Sure thing. Here, have some instructions. <laughs> These are all in Russian. I can't read that. And now you've learned the importance of localization testing. Better dead than red, eh? What is wrong with you? <coughs> okay, mister, I think you made your point. Are you sure? I have a swell new skateboard you could try out. No, thank you. No, I get it now. Just because I've written unit test does not mean 
I've ensured quality. Now you've got it, Scotty. Just remember to follow the three T's of quality. Observe, validate, and review. Those don't even start with... Just remember those simple steps and you'll be on your way to writing great code in no time. And one more thing, Tomothy. Yeah? Only you can prevent defect escapes. Now, off you go. <laughs> Thank you.